Hey, cow. Today we're out at Kickapoo Caverns State Park out in far west Texas. So we're starting off on the uh, Barbado Ridge Trail, which is 2.1 miles. We're cutting through to the back side of the Long Way Home Trail, and we'll cut her back around to where I parked and depending on how the day goes probably hit a couple other trails park ranger said this trail was their most uh, when did you say rugged challenging uh, it's basically their hardest trail it goes up along a ridge line and it passes what on the map is a point of interest called uh, the Bee Cave, which is apparently a cave full of bees. So that should be fun. So we're actually going up the uh, Barbado Ridge Trail and we're going to circle around and we'll end up coming back down the Long Way Home Trail here in just a bit. Definitely windy today. Uh, it was raining all the way out here. Uh, kind of overcast, but uh, good hiking weather. This trail's been really great. Coming up the uh, initial hill to get on top of the ridge line here was not too difficult. Very well marked. Uh, this trail's rated as moderate to strenuous but it's moderate at best it's not too difficult uh, but man the views up here uh, today with it being uh, just overcast and cloudy and the wind blowing you can just see in the distance to you know birds riding the wind it's really cool But uh, I can tell already, this is a this is a great park to come hike, uh, especially if you like uh, more. 
more of the remote places. Uh, I seriously doubt I see anyone at all today. So it may be worth a little bit of a drive, but it was a nice drive, you know. I've never been to Uvalde before. Uh, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and say, and if you're thinking about having a little day trip and doing some hiking in the San Antonio Austin area, this is a this would be a good place to put on your list. Especially if you like the remote areas. <laughs> yeah. So we came up over that hill and went around the ridge line there and have come down this way and we're headed out that way. I think the trail is going to drop over that mountain back down to the long way home trail. Uh, still looking for the bee cave which I would expect is coming up here pretty soon. Finally at a spot that's out of the wind a little bit, kind of headed back down. Uh, it's a really good trail. Uh, enjoyed it a lot. And I, you know, it's, it's kind of rocky, just like uh, most trails here in Central and South Texas. Uh, it's just where we are. No snakes, that's always good. Okay, so it looks like I'm finished with the Barbado Ridge Trail. Uh, I totally didn't see the bee cave. There was no sign or cave or no bees uh so I, I i don't know where the bee cave is there's supposed to be you know 20 caves out here uh at this park so we'll see so long way home trail we're gonna head that way uh, this is about a six mile long loop that goes around the park and we're kind of gonna hit about two miles of it from the map it looks like it's just you know like this I call this a road <laughs> not a good road but it's a road I think I saw a green cheek wobbler. They're very rare. Looks like we're finally off the road. So the long way home trail is 
after you get off the road, it's really nice. It's really smooth, real easy. It is rated right, as uh, really easy on the park map, and it is. Uh, you can't really see, but it's kind of, we were on the ridge line up there, and it's kind of uh, winding around the uh, bottom of the ridge line back to where we were. But uh, it's a nice trail, very pretty actually. And, uh, you know, it's, it's really a beautiful day out here. Uh, it is overcast and cloudy and about 50 degrees, but it's kind of perfect. You know, if it was 100 degrees in August, this would be a different hike. So plan your trip accordingly. Bring plenty of water. Oh, look. It's a whole bunch of palmettos. You know, I've been to Palmetto State Park. You can watch the video. Put a link there. Watch my video on Palmetto State Park. One of the largest, even though this has got a lot, gatherings of palmettos west of the Mississippi. Um, Okay, so we made it back from the loop of the Barbado Trail. We went out of the Barbado Trail, then kind of around the Long Way Home Trail, did a loop. We stopped back at the car real quick, had a little snack. It's starting to rain just a little bit here, but I'm trying to make a quick little trip up to uh, a lookout point on the uh, Armadillo Lookout Trail. So we're just gonna head up this little uh, Vero Vista Trail just for a little bit, and then run up the uh, Armadillo Lookout Trail. So it's supposed to have a bench at the top. We're gonna end up, I believe, on that peak up there but it's only like a half mile so we'll be there in a few minutes I think that about does it for the hiking part today because it's starting to drizzle just a little bit. I am now on the top next to the bench of the Armadillo Lookout. 
and I'm gonna head back down to the car. Overall, the hiking out here was great. Uh, really loved it. Good trails, well marked. Uh, good way to navigate to do some good mileage, but then still get back to your car. Uh, so that's the hill that we went over uh, at the start of our hiking this, earlier today. It wasn't this morning, it was afternoon. But um, anyway, head back down to the car. I think we're gonna make me make two more stops and get out of here. Ooh. I've, I've never been in a bird blind. So that was it. Last stop here at Kickapoo Caverns uh, State Park is the Stewart Bat Cave. We're going to go up here. Um, apparently there's half a million bats that fly out of this cave right at dusk. And uh, their exit of the cave lasts about an hour and a half. But uh, not gonna get to see that today, unfortunately, because it's off season for them. I asked the park ranger when I got here, and they said there were some bats, but only lasted a few moments. Uh, got about another month before they all, the Mexican tail uh, bats migrate up here to this area. Look at those switchbacks. Those are nice switchbacks. Just saying. So, probably be a great place to come in the evening in the uh, end of April, beginning of May. Nice little seating area. little information <laughs> the 
the Stuart Bat Cave. I bet that'd be pretty impressive uh, in the evenings. Might have to plan a trip to come back out to see that. So. Hello. There's a lot of bees flying into there. That's interesting. I wonder if there's bees in the bat cave. <clears throat> okay, so that was our hiking trip to Kickapoo Cavern State Park. Uh, really liked it. I would possibly come out here and camp, stay overnight, just to be able to catch uh, the bats. Uh, maybe I might come do that in another month or so. Uh, good part, like the hiking. Beautiful area. As you as you can see, there's absolutely no one here. I saw uh, one other vehicle today and two people. And when I saw the two people, they were like, like a mile away. I saw them, in the, you know, hiking on the far side of the trail that I'd already done. Uh, anyway, please like and subscribe. Uh, ring that bell for notifications. And put any comments, questions down below. And I'll find a nice new place to go soon. Thanks for watching. Nobody here. It's kind of weird.